G'day. This is the eighth integral in Jim Caronis's 100 integral list and as you can see it's a product of two functions, one very very simple and one a little more complex. But hopefully you recognize that the secant squared of a function or a secant squared of x is the derivative of tan x and that means that we can change this expression into a derivative and that means that we can integrate by parts. So let's first of all check that we've done this properly. The derivative of tan x being a, a function of a function is sec squared 2x times the derivative of 2x which is 2. So we do in fact need to make an adjustment. We need a 2 here and therefore a half out the front. And that means that this here this expression is now that. The root of tan 2x is 2 sec squared 2x dx. That means this half out the front of the integral must remain and then this integral exactly matches that integral. Now in order to integrate by parts We recognise or we understand the pattern that this will be u dv. These are the two functions. The first part of the expression will look like x times tan 2x and then we would subtract the integral and reverse these two functions. So we would write tan 2x dx. And what was a bit of a difficult uh, integral is now replaced by quite a simple one. I'll write this first expression here, x tan 2x, or the first term at least. This half will apply. Perhaps I should leave the half out the front anyway. Those of you with experience will recognize that the tangent is sine 2x on cos 2x. This is the traditional way of integrating a tangent because the derivative of the cosine produces a sine function. Now, if we want this to be the exact derivative, let's work out the derivative of cos 2x. The derivative of cosine is in fact negative sine. So I'll put a negative sign here and compensate by changing the sign outside. But being a chain, we have to multiply by the derivative of 2x as well, which is 2. So we also have to compensate with a half out the front. Now, negative 2 sine 2x is the exact derivative of cos 2x. So, that means we have a logarithmic function. Our first term. Now this is two negative signs make it positive, half times a half is a quarter. And since we have a function in the denominator with its derivative in the numerator, we have a logarithmic function of cos 2x. Now, I should point out, because the cosine can assume negative values, we should use our absolute value signs. And there's the solution. We can tidy it up. Uh, make it all the one expression. I might put a quarter out the front and write it as 2x tan 2x plus the logarithm of cos 2x. I think that's about as tidy as we're going to get. The giveaway, of course, was the secant squared. We just had two functions, this very, very simple one, x, and the secant squared was the derivative of tan, and that set us up beautifully for integration by parts.
If you enjoyed this uh, video, then please click the like button and leave your comment. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.